Okay, this is part 13 of the Game Engine Physics tutorial series for new Blender users. So, uh, in this case, we'll change it up a little bit. So, we've taken a look at the uh, logic bricks. Let's see, let's go over to these guys real quick. And associated with the cube, we were using the keyboard, using the right arrow key, and that would add a value of 10 to our property called cube count. And then if it equaled 50, then we would move it in the y direction and then if it became equal to 70 then we would rotate it around the z-axis five degrees All right. so now in this case instead of making it move based on a keyboard press we're going to do something else we'll make it move based on uh, a collision collision of other objects so let's go take a look at the scene so we already know if i just press p here i'm back to the original one here where when it hits the surface and that when the cone is touching the ground it just constantly rotates based on that touch sensor that we had set for the cone and we, if I press the right and left arrow key the these guys still move along around the way like this alright so I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe make the cube rotate around the objects once the blue sphere hits the yellow cone alright All right, so let's go back into here first thing we'll do is maybe we will yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We will get rid of the... What is this? For the cube. Yeah, for the cube in here, we'll just temporarily... I'll hold down the control key and I'll wipe that out. And so the keyboard doesn't come into play anymore. So since it doesn't come into play, it's not adding a variable. It's not adding 10 to the value of cube count. So I've just kind of disconnected it for a second. Okay, and then in the, within the scene, I'll just let's do it like this. Let's make it simpler. Let's we'll put a touch sensor on the cube itself, and instead of this being a keyboard sensor, we'll just we'll 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 add a touch sensor here. Okay, and then uh, if you recall, on these touch sensors, like this, where is that? Thing. Notice you have to click that little box. If I didn't, sh I think I showed you that in the other lesson. I hope I did. This you want to press this so it's constantly checking. It's, whoa! I wonder if I missed that in a previous lesson. That could have thrown you off. Yeah, you need that to continually check. And then uh, we'll press that. And then if it gets activated, if the the collision is detected there then we want it to rotate on the five degrees so instead of the cube count we won't worry about that we will just get rid of that and we'll move this to here like that alright so theoretically when we start the simulation this cube is going to stay in place because the right arrow key doesn't affect it we can we'll move this here if the sphere collides with that then it should start rotating it around the origin here okay let's find out so that's rotating because that's hitting the plane let's see see so oh we we'll knock that thing out of the way oh no we might not be able to get it oh no it doesn't do it no hang on or no it did do it actually what am I thinking it's rotating it I thought it was pushing it out of the way you notice that it's rotating it around the circle see that every time it touches it like that it's actually not just moving it but it's rotating it I'll try one more time right but so it's not constantly rotating like before because before what happened it got to the value of 70 and that value of 70 was always 70 so it just kept rotating it in this case when we when it it it's collides with it and it, and it rotates it away so it's not colliding with it anymore so it stops rotating right so we'd have to do something else if we wanted to constantly collide we'd have to well we'd there use something you'd have to figure it out all right all right well that's it for this lesson I hope uh, yeah I hope I hope I'll have to go back and check that other lesson and if it's the case yeah, I hope I mentioned that in the previous lesson because sometimes I just do it by default because I've been doing it so much 
And if not, I'll probably go back and change that lesson. So, all right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.